everybody. <clears throat> I am going to be teaching a share your class today. And you will need a few props. If you have a strap or a belt um, to use, you'll definitely want to grab one of those. And also a blanket, if you have it, um, or even a, a pillow would be great. Um, if you have two blocks, Wonderful. If not, you can also use um, books, either um, you know, just a few books um, to use on either side of the feet for when we do our student sun salutations. So we'll begin um, sitting in a chair. So any comfortable chair that you have, you'll sit as far back into the chair as you can. And just pressing both feet evenly into the ground. Place the hands on the thighs with the palms facing down. Close the eyes. And just allow your awareness to come to the breath. And as you bring your awareness to the breath, just notice the quality of the breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Notice if the breath is cool Notice if you seem to be breathing out of one side a little more than the other, and just mindfully, as you bring the awareness to the breath, imagine as though when you inhale through the nose, that you're breathing through both nostrils evenly. And then when you come to the top of the breath, pausing for a moment, retaining the breath, and then exhaling completely through the nose. So continuing with this breath, full deep breath through the nose, pausing for a few moments, and then exhaling completely through the nose. In the mind also, see if you can soften any physical areas of tension with your exhales. Paying special attention to the shoulders. So really try to soften through the shoulders. Imagine that they are softening down with your exhales. And then begin to notice here any other tension in the body. So as we pay special attention here to the breath and to the physical body, bring your awareness briefly to the mind, the thoughts, anything you have going on. We'll just acknowledge anything that comes up and allow it to pass. So in our practice today, it's like our collective intention to be about bringing peace, bringing peace to ourselves in the situation that's happening in the world right now. It's through this peace that we find through our practice, through our practices um, right now, it's going to collectively lift our vibration. It's 
So with all this in mind, just remaining with the eyes closed, continuing with the breath. I'll go through some invocation mantras before we begin our practice. We'll start with three ohms. We'll say each mantra three times. And this just clears the space and prepares us for our practice. So if you know them, feel free, of course, to join in. Otherwise, just remain here with the breath. Softening as much as you can through the body, through the mind, on your exhales. Inhale deeply through the nose. And on your exhale, slowly lower the chin or the chest. Pausing here. And as you pause here, allow the back of the neck to soften and the shoulders to soften down even more. And just bringing some gentle movement, bringing the chin over toward the right shoulder. center and allowing the chin to move toward the left shoulder. I'm just doing this a few more times. Inhale as you come through center and then exhale as you move toward the opposite shoulder. The next time you come back 
back towards center, again, pausing here. If the eyes are closed, go ahead and flutter them open. And then slowly lift the gaze to shoulder height. From here on your next inhale, both arms rise up, palms face each other, draw the belly in, gazing up between the hands. Pause here. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, gentle twist. So turning to the right, bring your left hand to your right knee. Bring the right hand to the back of the chair. So as you inhale, draw the belly in, spine long, shoulders soften. And then on your exhale, start to turn. Maybe the gaze comes over the shoulder. Inhale through the nose, arms rise up, back to center, palms face each other, maybe the gaze comes up. On your exhale, start to turn to the left. Right hand rests on the left thigh, left hand to the back of the chair. Then on your inhale, draw the belly in, spine long, shoulders soften. And then on your exhale, again, start to really twist from the waist. Allow the chest to start to twist, and maybe the gaze comes over the shoulder. Inhale, both arms rise up, palms face each other, and maybe the gaze comes up. Exhaling, slowly lowering the right hand to the back of the chair. I'm sorry, to the side of the chair. Inhale through the nose, spine long. And then exhaling, start to lean back through the waist, opening through the side body. Your gaze can be straight ahead, or maybe start to bring the gaze up toward the ceiling, opening. The left shoulder a bit here, gaze up. Inhale, both arms rise up. Maybe gaze comes up. Exhale, slowly lower the left hand down to the side of the chair. And then start to really press your seat into the chair and lean, really opening through the side body. Again, gazing straight ahead or maybe up toward the ceiling, start to open up with the shoulder. On your next inhale through the nose, the arms rise up, palms face each other, gaze up. Interlace with the palms to face up. On your exhale, draw the chin in toward the chest, really round through the upper back. Allow the arms to lower to shoulder height or maybe a little bit lower toward the thighs. Drawing the chin in toward the chest as you lower. Pause here. Inhale the arms up, gaze up. Exhale, release your interlace. From here, grab it onto the side of the chair, sit toward the edge of the chair. We'll interlace the hands behind the back. So from here, your arms may come into the space between the back of the chair and the seat, or maybe you open up the shoulders where the hands are interlaced above the back of the chair. So finding this comfortable space, you just open through the chest and the shoulders first. Inhale deeply through the nose, heel to the feet a little wider than the hips width, and then on your exhale, fold forward. So fold forward, maybe the shoulders rest on the thighs. Let the head hang here, and your interlaced hands sort of reach toward the floor 
with gravity and your breath. So notice on your exhales if you can really just open a bit more through the chest, through the shoulders as we fold here. Take another deep breath. And then slowly rising back. Release your interlaced. From here, <clears throat> bring the hands to the thighs. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up into the ears and exhale, lower them back. So just some circles here. Inhale as you draw the shoulders up. Exhale as you soften them back. And releasing any tension in the shoulders. And then just reverse your circles. Again, inhale as the shoulders come up toward the ears and then exhale as we move them forward. And then with your next circle forward, coming back to stillness. So we'll grab onto our strap from here. So I always like to use a strap um, for opening through the chest and shoulders. And this is a really wonderful prop to do that. Um, so you're going to open your strap or your belt all the way. And you want to sit toward the edge of your chair. And again, both feet pressing evenly into the mat. And then you want the belt or the strap to be nice and tight and wider than shoulder width distance. So you'll bring it up overhead. Inhale through the nose, draw the belly in. Press the feet into the mat, rounding down, and then on your exhale, draw the chin in toward the chest and round the upper back again. The strap is going to come forward. For now, let's do shoulder height. Pause here for a moment. And then inhale as the strap comes toward the ceiling, maybe the gaze comes up as well. And then on your exhale, start to bring the strap behind you. And you want the strap to be, again, about shoulder height, maybe a little bit higher. Just notice that opening in the chest and shoulders and pause. Again, making sure to draw the belly in here. Belly's engaged. Inhale through the nose. The strap comes back to the ceiling. Maybe the gaze comes up. Exhale, draw the chin to the chest. Lower the strap. Or the belly down toward the thigh. So as far down as you can here. Pause here. Again, inhale as you bring the strap up, maybe the gaze comes up. And then exhale, lower the strap behind you. Again, to shoulder height, or maybe you can come down a little bit lower here. So just opening slowly through the chest and the shoulders. If it helps, you can draw the chin slightly toward the chest here. And you'll notice any sticky points as you move through these movements. So you want to pause anywhere that you need to. So moving slowly, inhale as the arms come up. Exhale as you draw the chin toward the chest and lower the arms forward. So again, just moving slowly with your breath. Inhale as the arms rise up. And then exhale as you move into the opposite position. And again, you'll know when you have any sticky points, you want to pause. So maybe closing the eyes as you're doing this and just really feel what's going on in the body. So this is your time to focus on what's going on in your body on the mat. And not only is this important all the time, but it's really important now for us all. So the next time the arms come up, pause here. And take an inhale through the nose. And then on your exhale, the right arm is going to come up and the left arm is going to come behind you. So it looks like this. Inhale as you come through center, arms rise back up. And then exhale the right arm back and the left arm up. So again, moving through these two movements with the breath. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale as 
One arm comes up and one arm comes behind you and pause. Again, making sure to draw the belly in here. Okay? So really draw the belly in. We want the belly engaged. And then again, the next time the arms come up, pausing here, slowly lower the strap down toward the thighs, and then move it off to the side for now. So from here, we will bring the blocks or the books to either side of the feet. So you may or may not need these for your seated sun salutations. But what you want to do, if you are using them, or you think you may need to use them, is you want them to either side of the feet. You want them to either side of the feet, and this is just going to be a place to rest the hands. You're going to sit probably midway on your chair. So not all the way back in the chair, not all the way forward. So somewhere midway. And from here, you're going to ground down through the feet. Okay? Maybe even lift the toes and spread them apart and press them down. Want your ankles directly under the knees and just rest, um, sorry, uh, bring the arms either side of the body with the palms facing forward in our seated das on mountain pose. Close the eyes for a moment. Again, observing the breath. Fluttering the eyes open. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, draw the hands together at heart center. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Maybe the gaze comes up. Exhale, hands through heart center and fold, bringing the fingertips to the blocks you to the ground. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the belly in, spine long, knees forward. Exhale, fold it in. Slow inhale through the nose, reverse swan dive. Arms come out and up, palms together, gaze up. Exhale through the heart. Mountain pose. One breath, inhale deeply through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh out. Inhale deeply. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, the arms forward and up. Look up. Exhale through heart center and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Draw the belly and gaze forward. Exhale, fold it in, Uttanasana. Slow inhale through the nose, reverse swan dive, the arms out and up, palms together, gaze up. Exhale through the heart. Mountain pose to Dotson. One breath, inhale. Side out. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms forward and up, look up. Exhale through the heart and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, all right, Uttanasana, halfway lift, draw the belly in, long spine, knees forward. Exhale, fold it in. Slow, inhale through the nose, reverse, swan dive, arms out and up, palms together, gaze up. Exhale through the heart. Tadasana. One breath, inhale. Side out. From here for our next three sun salutations, maybe option to close the eyes here. So what I like about um, doing a chair practice is that we have the stability of the chair where we can really close the eyes in certain postures and feel stable and move a little bit more inward. So for the next three, maybe closing the eyes. In our Tadasana, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, draw the hands together at the heart. 
Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Maybe tilting the head up. Exhale, draw the hands through heart center and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it in. Slow inhale, reverse swan dive, arms down, palms together. Exhale through the heart. Now pose. One breath, inhale. Sign up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms forward and up. Gaze up. Exhale through the heart. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it in. Slow inhale through the nose, reverse swan dive. Arms out and up. Palms together. Exhale through the heart. Now pose. One breath, inhale. Sign up. Inhale. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart. Inhale, the arms forward up. Maybe tilting the head up. Exhale through the heart, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it in. Slow inhale through the nose, reverse swan dive, arms out and up. Palms together. Exhale through the heart. Now pose. If the eyes are not closed, just closing them briefly here. Observing. Two cleansing breaths. Inhale deeply through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh out. Again, inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh out. Fluttering the eyes open. On your next inhale through the nose, both arms rise up, palms face each other. Exhale, goddess the arms, palms face forward, elbows bend, and slowly bring the gaze toward the ceiling of the wall, or toward the ceiling as you open the chest. Inhale, both arms rise up. Exhale, the left arm forward, right arm back, start to twist. Gaze toward the side. Inhale, both arms rise up, palms face each other. Exhale, your right arm forward, left arm back. Gentle twisting movement. Inhale, the arms rise up, palms face each other. Gaze up. Exhale again, goddess, the arms maybe opening the chest a little bit more here. Elbows come back. Inhale as the arms rise up. Exhale the left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale back center. Exhale the right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale back center. Palms press overhead. Exhale through heart center. Back to our seated mountain pose. From here, we'll come a little bit closer toward the edge of the chair. So moving your seat slight, slightly forward. And I'm going to turn my chair to the side so you can see what's going on. I'm going to do a sort of a variation of the toss in our chair pose. So chair to chair. So I'm going to turn my chair sideways. You should say exactly where you are. So we're here, sitting toward the edge of the chair. And again, the feet are. Um, the, end, the feet are directly under the knees, and maybe even walking the feet forward just a bit more. 
So as we are here on the edge of the chair, I want you to already picture in mind that we're going to hover off of the chair, hover our seat off of the chair, draw the belly in, and we'll extend the arms forward, but only to shoulder height with the palms facing down. So getting set up here, really rooting through the feet, Extend the arms forward, palms facing down. The shoulders are nice and softened. So even just inhale, shrug the shoulders up the way you don't want them to be, and then exhale, soften them down, bring the shoulders back in. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, shift the weight forward. Okay, and then maybe hovering your seat. Pause here for five, four, three. Two and one. Slowly lower the seat to the chair and then rest the hands on the thigh. So we're going to do this one more time. We're going to do this one more time. So <laughs> extend your arms out, the palms facing down, and then soften through the shoulders. Prepare, draw the belly in. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, start to lean forward a bit with the upper body, right? And then from here, maybe hovering the seat off of the chair and pausing for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly making your way back to the chair, release the hands to the thighs. From here, just a little bit of stretching through the ankle. Right? So on your inhale through the nose, I want you to come onto the balls of the feet and lift the heels. And then on your exhale, lower the heels back down. So a few more times on your own. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower them back down. Two more. Inhale, lift the heels. High on the toes. Exhale, lower them down. And one more. Inhale, get up. Exhale, it down. From here, pressing into the left foot, lift the right foot up off of the mat and just circle the ankle in one direction. It's just some gentle ankle circles. And then reversing your direction. So we do a lot of stabilization through the feet and the legs, the lower legs, when we practice yoga. So just preparing for that here. And then slowly lower the right foot down. Shift the weight to the right foot, lift the left foot up, and point to the flex the foot, ankle circles, one direction, and then reverse your direction. Lowering the left foot. From here, we'll come off of our chair. So we'll remove our blocks. Um, that we have if we use them for the books for the top of the mat. And then with your chair, you want your chair to be at the top of the mat um, with the back of the chair toward you. So all the way up toward the top of the mat so you have all the space behind you to work. And I'm going to move my chair to the side so you can see what I'm doing here, right? So, I'm just going to place mine off to the side, but yours should be at the top of the mat. So from here, <clears throat> bringing the feet about hips width distance apart, rest the hands on the back of the chair, and start to walk the feet back a bit. We're going to come into a downward facing dog. So walk the feet back a bit. Again, a little wider than the hips width distance. Hands are resting on the back of the chair. Arms are extended. Draw the belly in, slight bend in the knees, and we're softening here. So maybe the head comes in line with the arms, or maybe it comes slightly below. Take some deep breaths through the nose. Softening through the shoulders. And then begin to pedal the feet out here. So take a bend in the right knee. Maybe the right heel lifts up. Just like we do in a regular down dog. Come through center, inhaling, and then exhaling, bending the left knee, lifting the left heel. So just doing this a few times, pedaling the feet out. Coming back 
to center, remaining in stillness here. Take another breath. From here, pressing the hands into the back of the chair, draw the belly in slowly, rising up to stand, and walking the feet toward the chair. So again, your hands are resting on the back of the chair. And come into a little bit of balance in here. So the left foot is pressing down. <clears throat> the left foot is pressing down, hands are resting back of the chair, and we're going to come into the ball of the right foot. So the right leg extends back. And the, that right leg is nice and straight. Both legs are pretty straight. You can keep a slight bend in the left knee. From here, inhaling through the nose. On your exhale, start to lean forward. This point to warrior three. That right leg extends back. Toes point toward the mat. And again, you can lift up just a little bit, or you can lift, lift it up a little bit more. See how you feel. Your baby is, is slightly ahead of the seat of your chair. If you are steady here, maybe extend the left arm with the thumb facing up. Pausing here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower the left hand and slowly lower the right foot. Switching sides. So shifting the weight to the right foot. Inhale through the nose on your exhale. <clears throat> Start to extend that left leg back and toes point toward the mat. Your gaze is slightly ahead of the seat of your chair. And then if you're steady, extending that right arm forward with the thumb facing up. And I didn't say this on the other side, but if you'd like to challenge yourself a bit more here, maybe you extend the left arm forward as well, even for a moment. And should traditional warrior three, one more breath. If you extend that left arm, bring it back. Bring the right hand back, slowly rise back to stand. From here, walking the feet back a little bit. Hands are resting on the back of the chair. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, lift up, high on the toes, lift the heels as you exhale. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So just doing a few more of these. And then lowering the heels back down. So from here, we'll come into a standing chair with Katasana. We'll throw our hands to the back of the chair. And we'll come to that same variation with the arms extended forward, palms facing down. So again, rest the fingertips. Inhale deeply through the nose. On your exhale, bend the knee. Start to sit your seat back. The weights and the heels are able to wiggle your toes. Maybe you extend one arm forward. Maybe you extend both arms forward. Gazing straight ahead. One more breath here. Slowly lowering the hands to the back of the chair and slowly coming back to stand. So we'll do this one more time or um, option to make it a little bit more difficult. So if you would like to, you can shift the weight to the balls of the feet, lifting the heels slightly before you come into the chair. So it just adds a little bit, um, a little bit different variation to this posture. So you know, continue with the first variation, or if you'd like to give the balls of the feet um, balancing a, a try, we'll do that. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, balls of the feet, heels lift a bit. Inhale deeply through the nose, and then exhale, bend the knees. Again, that slight bend the knees, draw the belly in, and then maybe extending one arm or both arms, and pausing here, wherever you are, for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower the hands to the back of the chair, straighten the legs. Excellent. From here, bring the feet wide, 
Toes are pointing out. So we'll do the same thing here, sort of coming onto the balls of the feet with the hands resting to the back of the chair. Inhale through the nose, and then on your exhale, lift the heels. And then lower back down. And inhale, exhale as you move forwards. Lower it back down. A few more. The next time you lower the heels down, pause here. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, bend in the knees. So the feet are wide, toes are pointing out. Bend in the knees here. Maybe draw one hand, both hands to heart center. Pause in here. And then slowly release the hands to the back of the chair, shake the legs. Again, we'll come into the same variation for a second set, or if you would like to, you can again shift the weight to the balls of the feet, lifting the heels slightly. So either variation will inhale, the legs straight. Exhale, starting to bend the knees. Again, your heels may or may not be lifted. And then from here, try one hand to heart center, maybe both hands. Pausing here. Slowly lower the hands back to the back of the chair, straighten the legs, lower the heels. Feet come back, hips with distance. From here, we're coming to a high lunge. So, with the fingertips resting on the back of the chair, extend the right leg back so you're on the ball of the right foot. Let me adjust my set here. Okay. So, right leg extends back around the ball of the right foot. The left knee is bent and the ankle is directly under the knee. Okay. Resting the hands to the back of the chair. On your inhale, lift up high on the right toes. On your exhale, lower the heel toward the floor. So, it's likely not going to touch the floor. That's completely fine. Inhale, high on the right toes. Exhale, lower the heel back down. One more inhale, high on the right toes. Exhale, lower the heel back down. From here, maybe you draw one hand to heart center, maybe both hands to heart center. If you feel steady enough here, maybe extending both arms toward the ceiling. Your gaze straight ahead or up between the hands. The arms are right alongside the ears if you choose to extend them up. Pausing here. If the arms are overhead, inhale, palms press. Exhale through the heart. Slowly lower the hands back to the back of the chair. From here, <clears throat> spinning the right heel down. We'll come into warrior two. So same thing here. We spin the right heel down. You can look down and see your left big toe. That left knee is pressing out toward the pinky, toward the left pinky toe. Maybe again, draw the hands to heart center. See how you feel here? If you're ready for warrior two, you're going to extend the arms. Left arm forward, right arm back. On your inhale, flip the palms to face up, soften the shoulders. And then on your exhale, flip them back down. One more breath here. Slowly straighten the front leg. Flipping the front palm, reverse triangle. So the right hand rests to the back of the right thigh. The left arm reaches up to the ceiling and maybe slightly behind you. Slowly make your way back to warrior two. Left hand lowers to the back of the chair. Right hand lowers to the back of the chair. Come on to the back toes again, we're in this lunge. From here, briefly, we'll come into warrior three before coming back to stand. So bring the gaze ahead of the seat of the chair. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, come forward. That right leg extends back. Maybe your hands are resting still here. 
or you can bring the hands to the heart or extend them overhead with the palms facing each other. Pause here for one more breath. And then slowly draw the hands to heart center to the back of the chair and come back to stand. Other side, left leg extends back, ball of the left foot. Right knee is bent, right? So right ankle directly under the knee. Again, ball of the left foot on your inhale, lift up high on the left toes. On your exhale, lower the heel toward the floor. A few more times, inhale. Up, exhale down. The next time the heel lowers toward the mat, pausing here. Again, setting up for that high lunge. Draw one hand to heart center, draw both hands to heart center. If this is challenging, stay here. Or slowly begin to extend the arms up, palms face each other. Beautiful, one more breath. Palms press overhead, inhale. Exhale to the heart. Lower the hands to the back of the chair. Spin the back heel down. So again, setting up for warrior two. You're spinning the back heel down. And you're able to look down and see the right big chest. So that right knee is going toward the pinky edge of that right foot. Again, start with the hands at heart center first. And then if you feel steady enough, start to open it up warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. You're gazing over the left, the right fingertips. Again, inhale, put the palms to face up, soften the shoulders. Exhale, slowly flip them back to face down. Pause here, one more breath. Slowly start to straighten the front leg. Maybe you rest the hand to the back of the chair briefly. Left hand rests on the back of the left thigh. On your inhale, start to lift the right arm up. Start to lean back a bit. Reverse triangle. One more breath. Inhale as you slowly make your way back to warrior two. Slowly lowering the right hand to the back of the chair and then the left hand to the back of the chair. Come on to the back toes, the left toes, we're back in this lunge. From here, coming to warrior three. So again, bring your gaze a little ahead of the seat of the chair. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, come forward. Left leg extends back. Left foot is flexed, toes pointed toward the mat. Again, staying here. Maybe the hands come to heart center. Maybe they extend overhead with the palms facing each other. One more breath. Slowly draw the hands to the heart. And to the back of the chair, coming up to stand, left foot meets the right. Close the eyes for a moment. So the hands press the back of the chair. Close the eyes for a moment. Just checking in. Slowing the breath. Softening the shoulders. Fluttering the eyes open. So we're going to do that little um, sort of heart opening, twisted flow that we did in the seated position. So maybe stepping back just a little bit. Now feet are hips with distance still. So on your inhale, reach both arms overhead, palms face each other, draw the belly in, and then on your exhale, goddess the arms, the palms face forward, spread the fingers wide, open through the chest through the shoulders, gaze up. Inhale, the arms rise up, palms face each other. Exhale, your right arm forward, left arm back, starting that twist. 
Only if it's comfortable, your gaze comes over the shoulder for one more breath. Inhale as both arms rise up. Maybe the gaze comes up. Exhale, the left arm forward, right arm back, just the other side. Inhale as we come back to center. Exhale again, goddess. Open it up. Bend the elbows and the chest. Inhale, both arms rise up. Exhale again, right arm forward, left arm back, twist. Inhale it up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back, twist. Inhale it up, palms press. Exhale through the heart. Tadasana. So the palms are facing forward. Traditional Tadasana here. Take another breath. From here, resting the hands to the back of the chair, and we come into another downward facing dog with a twist. So let's walk the feet back once again, a little wider than hips width distance. The arms are straight, draw the belly in, and again, arms in line with the ears, or maybe a comfortable bit lower. From here, pressing the left hand into the back of the chair. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, reach the right arm under the body toward the left outer shin or calf, right? So start to bend that right elbow. Start to twist, maybe look under the left arm. One more breath. Slowly making your way back. Right hand rests on the back of the chair. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, the left arm reaches under the body toward the outer right calf. Bend the left elbow. Maybe gaze under the right arm. Take another breath. Slowly release, bring your left hand back to the back of the chair and pause here. Slowly pressing into the back of the chair to lift the head, start to walk the hands back, oh, sorry, the feet back to the chair. From here again, bring the feet wide. The toes facing out. Coming into a traditional goddess pose here. So we'll inhale through the nose, hands press to the back of the chair. On your exhale, bend to the knees. So before we drew the hands at heart center, to so do that again. And then if you're staying here, extend the arms out, elbows bent, palms face forward. If you're gazing ahead of the seat of your chair. On an inhale, straighten the legs, palms press overhead. Exhale, re bend the legs, guys. Inhale, straighten the legs, palms press. Exhale, rise. Inhale, straighten the legs, palms press. Exhale, goddess. Pausing here. From here, lower the hands to the thighs. The fingers are facing down. Take a little bit of a twist here. Inhale through the nose, gazing ahead of the seat of that chair. Exhale, bring the right shoulder forward and look over the left shoulder. Inhale through your center. Exhale, left shoulder forward, look over the right. So remember, if this is challenging, you can always bring the hands back to the back of the chair at any point. Inhale through center. 
slowly making your way back up to seated. Unwinding the legs. We'll bring the left ankle over the 
your right knee. So again, just settle here for a moment. Right hand rests to the bottom of the left foot. Left hand rests to the knee. Draw the belly and spine long as you inhale, and then as you exhale, bend the elbows. Lean forward. Again, with a long spine, start to feel the stretch in that left hip. Allow yourself to move a little deeper into the posture with your exhales. And again, whenever if you feel you would like to, you can start to round the upper back, holding in. Slowly making your way back up. Unwinding the legs. So from here, extend the arms forward. Bring the fingertips to touch. So the arms are extended forward, right back shoulder height, the fingertips are touching. So on an inhale, bend the elbows, really open the arms. Okay, open the chest, the shoulders, and the gaze comes up. And then exhale, round it in, upper back. Give yourself a hug. Okay. So the left arm is on top, the right arm is on the bottom, and draw the chin in, give yourself a big hug. Inhale, open the arms, open the fingers, and the chest, gaze up. Exhale, round it in, right arm over the left. Moving slowly, inhale, open it up. Exhale, curl it in, left arm on top, big hug. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, hug it in, right arm on top. Inhale, open. Exhale, release the hands either side of the legs. From here, we'll make our way to our final posture. So I like to do waterfall um, pose a lot in class with the use of a chair. So um, I'm going to show you sideways, but for you at home, what you should do is turn your chair um, so that the seat is facing you and the back of the chair is right at the top of the mat. And this is where the blanket comes in handy, or the pillow. This sort of acts as a cushion underneath the lower legs. So you're just gonna place this on the seat of the chair. So I'm gonna do this sideways so you can see this. And at this point, if you need to put on any clothing, um, any, anything to make yourself more comfortable as we come into this posture, this will be our final posture, you'll get into the same way you get into waterfall pose um, against the wall. So sitting sideways alongside the chair, <clears throat> leaning back, and then extending the legs, sorry, um, resting the legs, I should say, to the seat of the chair and then slowly lowering it down. And as you lower down, rest one hand to the belly and one hand to the chest. The 
just allowing this gentle wave of the hands to bring a little more awareness to the breath. As you inhale, feeling expansion through the belly, through the ribcage, through the chest. And on your exhales, allowing the hands to gently lower. Feeling as though on your exhales, you are allowing yourself to let go a little bit more. Like to here, you can also add that pause, that gentle retention at the top of the breath. So taking your deep inhale, allowing everything to rise, and pausing for a few moments before exhaling completely through the nose. Option to remain here with the hands resting, or you can release extending the arms to either side of the body with the palms facing up. to deepen the breath, awakening the body through any gentle movement. And just gently, one at a time, drawing the knees in toward the chest. And allowing a gentle rock from side to side. And whenever you're ready, settling on one side, using your arm as a pillow. 
pausing here. Just a few moments. Thanking yourself for taking this time for yourself. Knowing that these practices of yoga really help to lift our personal vibration, which lifts the collective vibration. This is a very important time to be um, practicing yoga. Now more than ever. Gently helping yourself up to a comfortable seat with the eyes closed. Draw the hands together at heart center. We'll end with three omnis. So allowing as much softening through the body as we own, softening the face, softening the shoulders. That only doesn't have to be loud, it just has to come from just a deep place and allow this vibration to truly touch you, to truly lift you. We'll take a breath together first. Inhale deeply through the nose. Open the mouth, side out. Inhale in for three ohms. Inhale. Slowly lowering the chin to the chest, bowing our heads in gratitude for this practice, for this community that we can continue to maintain, even if it's online, temporarily. Thank you so much for joining me, allowing me to serve you. Truly, it's been my honor and pleasure. The light within me sees and honors the light within each one of you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.